Okay. Um, what's going on, ladies, gentle dims, and everyone in between? It's me, Neon Nimue, and I'm back to present you with some greatness. Yada yada yada, I've been gone. Yada yada yada, here's the video. So, a lot of celebrities have been releasing makeup lines, makeup products, cosmetics in general, and um, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. If you've been watching all year, you know that it is a lot. However, I feel like some people have gotten it right. And so now I'm talking about um, another brand that I'm interested in trying and hopefully won't disappoint either. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new cosmetics line Kesha Rose by the singer, songwriter, artist Kesha. Kesha Rose. <laughs> Weird. Hi, if it's your first time here. Hi, Neon. Welcome. How you guys doing? Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I appreciate it. Also, you guys should go ahead and subscribe to the channel now. Save yourself the trouble because you're going to want to later. Just, just do it now. Do it. Stop. And do it now. Thank And hit the bell. Make sure you hit the bell, the bell too. Hit it. You got it? Okay, good. All right, you guys. So without further ado, we're going to get into this video reviewing the brand new line by Kesha. Kesha Rose. So, do that. Stuff. Alright guys, so like I said, there's been a lot of like celebrity makeup launches within the year or two. Some people have been finding it a lot. Um, Rihanna's have one, but you know, Fenty Beauty can't be, I mean, we can't touch that, so it's fine. Gaga has a line, JLo has a line, maybe still, I don't remember if it's still out, but I don't know if it's out, but anyway. There's a lot, there's a, literally a lot of celebrity lines out. And I feel like this one is going to be more of the more interesting ones. So in case you guys aren't aware who Kesha is or you were just born in like 2006 or something, I'm so sorry, first of all. Second of all, Kesha is a like that, singer, songwriter, artist um, who's known for many party dumping hits such as TikTok and um, Animal and, and a bunch of songs that encompass the, the lifestyle party. And, um, my high school years were influenced by Kesha, so we're just gonna throw that out there. So Kesha has launched a brand new cosmetics line entitled Kesha Rose. And the interesting thing about this line is that this is actually through the brand Hip Dot, which, <laughs> Stan, we talk about Hip Dot a lot on my channel. Hi. So yeah, this is gonna be a very interesting, or this is a very interesting launch, um, because it is a partnership between Kesha and Hip Dot, so I know the quality is going to be good because Hip Dot's quality is good, but we're still going to talk about it here on the channel, though. No worries. So, Kesha said, uh, Dear animals, beauty is about embracing who you are, about expressing yourself while we stand fearlessly together to celebrate our differences. I hope you're inspired by this magical collection. Show me your wildest looks with hashtag Kesha Rose. Okay. All right, you guys, so this collection is available through Hip Dot, so you can purchase it on the Hip Dot website. And this collection includes, this collection includes the whatever, wherever ones, which are eyeliners, um, which are $28. We have a lipstick and gloss duo for $26. The FTW eyeshadow palette for $36. And then there are two bundle prices, two bundle sets that are available. So, pretty fair price. And I think the pricing is very similar to what Hip Dot did with SpongeBob and their prices in general. So, fair pricing for this brand and collection. So, mm. so first we're going to get into the eyeshadow palette. This is, like I said, the FDW eyeshadow palette. Um, oh, well. Color, if you will. This palette is a mix of mattes and glitters and shimmers. So, sorry, I'm really having a hard time. It's obvious I haven't done a video in a while. So, all right, so let's get into it. We're gonna go ahead and do swatches for you guys. Uh, I'm just gonna like kind of. I don't want to. I think I'm just speed through these swatches real quick, just to save time because this is gonna be a long video. I can feel it in my bones. Thank you. 
so there's the swatches. Kind of spent it real quick because like swatches are okay, but like eye performance is what I'm here for. So we're gonna get started with the actual eye work. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, right, so this palette is very interesting in terms of color story. There's like a, I don't know. It, it, it's, just, it's a very interesting color story. So I don't know where I want to take it. My mind is telling me green. Uh, not sure why, but I'm feeling green today. I guess Christmas spirit. So. I'm gonna do green. Now what I will say is that there were a few shades in this palette that swatched very interestingly, uh, particularly the mattes. So that's what I'm curious to see how they will perform. So might as well start there. So I'm gonna take the shade Dinosaur, which is this chartreuse. Is that what we're calling this? Like baby food green. Alex got some kickback, don't care. And I'm gonna take that and apply that in the crease. It's very true to color. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but the shade is very true to color. And that is like that baby puke green. But this is one of the shades that I was curious about in terms of the way it's swatched. I don't have any complaints about it. It definitely gives me like, transitional shade if you will so far i don't have any issues with this color it looks like it doesn't pan and it performs like a pastel wood so i don't necessarily have an issue with it all right so from here i'm just going to use foils and glitters in this palette because there's not that many mattes and the mattes in this palette all have a very interesting shade to them so like it wouldn't necessarily work here so we're just going to work with mattes first mat i'm going to take is actually tonight Tonight is a gunmetal black metallic. I'll swatch beautifully. So pop that right in the outer corner. I don't know what look I'm doing. I think I'm just gonna like smoke this out. Yeah. The vision I have in mind is just smoke. Just smoke it. The drama. I, I, we're growing for the drama today. Why not? Why not? That's what this look is turned into. Doesn't matter. Cool. Next, I'm going to take the shade Godzilla, which is the emerald green metallic in this palette. And I'm going to apply it with my finger first just to see what it gives. Ooh. It's like. In pan, it's like a metallic, or well, not a, f it's like a shimmer almost, but it looks like a foil on my eyes and I really like that. This look is a lot. Okay. For the inner corner, I'm gonna take the shade Spaceship. Spaceship is like a lime green metallic. This has a bit more of like a glitter finish consistency. <laughs> oh my God. And we're just gonna apply that in the inner corner. This shade gives the same vibe that Tonight did. It gives it like soft glitter metallic vibe. So that is the top of the lid. I play with like all the greens. I like this like Godzilla type vibe I'm getting. All right, and next I'm gonna do the bottom lash line. I'm gonna start with, I'm, I'm, I'm actually just gonna like flip the script with this. We're gonna give you complimentary realness here. So I'm gonna start with the shade Backstabber. Oh, she had a song called Backstabber. Sorry. All right, take a Backstabber and I'm going to apply that at the bottom lash line. Alright, next I'm going to take the shade Cannibal. Oh, she had an album named Cannibal. There you go, the stand is jumping. And I'm going to apply that on the bottom lash line just to blend out uh, Backstabber. I love red under eyes. Like, I know red under eyes look like you're tired but or stressed out or whatever, but I love the look of a red under eye. I'm going to just going to tie in later with the layer. 
And then I'm going back in with Spaceship just to re-intensify that inner corner. And I actually want to take just a tiny, 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 a tiny bit of TikTok. You know, that iconic single, TikTok. Um, and I'm going to put that in the inner corner. And TikTok is a press glitter, so I'm just going to stamp that in just to pop. The inner corner. Ooh, there we go. Okay. If you guys know, hip dots, press glitters, don't need adhesives. And uh, these bad boys are cute. So, so next part we're going to talk about is the Kesha Rose Whatever Wherever ones. These are dual ended eyeliners. So we have two eyeliners in this collection. There is Cowboy Blues, and Cowboy Blues consists of two liners, obviously. So in the first one, we have Cowboy Blues. And cowboy blues consist of a black liner and this is a brush a felt tip one and then there is a blue metallic and this one has a brush tip and then the other liner we have stay gold which consists of two gold liners the first one is a true yellow gold liner brush tip and we have a more orange bronzy gold liner also a brush tip i'll apply that i'm not doing a regular liner though because you guys know a second liner so i'm just gonna like do some graphic liner work real quick i'm gonna do that with uh the black from cowboy blues Alright, so there's the liner, pretty precise, didn't have any problems with it, uh, very pigmented, very intense, but also want to note that it does work well when you blend it with an eyeshadow, like, I cleaned it up under the bottom with the metallics and they look great, so, yeah, great liners. I'm going to put on lashes and stuff and then I'll be back to finish up the face, so, I'll be right back. Faces be looking good, feeling gorgeous. Alright, so we're going to go into the last product from... The Kesha Rose Launch. We have the Rose Hip Oil Lipstick in pH Balancing Lip Gloss. All right, girls, now listen. Two different products, two different situations here. Best of both worlds, if you will. So we have the Rose Hip Lipstick. This is a red lipstick. Has a little bit of an orange hue to it, but this is infused with Rose Hip, and so it has like a light floral scent to it. And it's good for your lips hydrating that things of that nature pretty much and the shade is called raising hell named after her latest single and then we have the ph balancing lip plumper lip gloss all right so literally right before i started filming this video uh hip dot put out a tweet for this lip gloss just to answer some questions that some people or some customers have had so just to read this um it says we've been getting some questions regarding our kesha rose beauty that bitch lip gloss so to clear the air if your lip gloss looks pink in the tube which mine kind of does, that's totally normal, or that's completely normal. It's a unique color changing formula that changes the most when on the lips, but in some cases you can see the change in the tube, mostly on the wand. Completely normal and there's nothing to worry about. So in case you guys don't use or have never used a pH lip gloss, these basically change based off your pH level on your skin. So I know that Urban Decay has actually put out one recently, so maybe you guys have seen them, but just to give you guys some clarity, this lip gloss is clear in the bottle. It is a lip clumper, so if you have any allergies, check for that. But, um, and it's also a pH lip gloss, so you're going to get a little bit of a tint to this, even though it's clear. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put on the, these products separately so you can see them separately, then I'll like later on, because this can be used as a topper as well. But um, I'm going to go ahead and put on the gloss in the shade That Bitch. And... Hopefully we'll see some results. It does have like a rose floral scent. Oh look, it's already pink. Look, it's already pink. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Oh, 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 oh. I. <laughs> oh, oh. I thoroughly enjoyed that already. Look at, look at that. Look at that. Like, I was not expecting that. Like I know, Pete. Like. 
Peach lip gloss has obviously changed color, but this. Yes. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. And it is a lip plumping gloss. I can already feel it plumping on my lips, but it's not intense. It's not like crazy or anything. Next, I'm gonna try on the lipstick. Like I said, this is in the shade Raising Hell. So there's the lipstick Raising Hell. Pretty red. It also, like I said, has a little bit of an orange hue to it. Not mad at it though. It's definitely creamy. It's not super drying like some lipsticks can be. But it's not ultra creamy like others, which I like. Yeah, like I'm trying to get into reds more and so I do like this a lot. All right guys, that is the completed look and uh, I, I'm in breath, I gotta say. Um, I know, again, people have been so concerned about like the amount of like celebrity collabs that are coming out. But honestly, to be quite honest, here, 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 here we go. Um, there have been some launches from other celebrity brands that I've not been excited about. And um, this one, I, I'm not gonna, I'm, there might've been a slight concern, but I do like this thoroughly. I feel like based off of the, who the artist is, cause with celebrity brands, you have to take that into account, like based off of the celebrity's aesthetic and what they're offering, uh, the brand will succeed or not. Like that's why I feel like Fancy Beauty has done so well is because Rihanna's aesthetic is so clear and cons like, there and achievable and the products themselves represent that as well and i feel like this does the same thing like i feel like the moment i saw this eyeshadow palette i definitely felt like this is a mix of like old kesha and new kesha if you like very much like kesha was very much into like glitter and like the punk aesthetic so it was a lot of like black glitters and golds and silvers here and like even in like her warrior era there was like a lot of like purples and greens in here but then like now in the rainbow era and the album that she's about to put out now is that's very much apparent as well like pastels and like softer colors and so i feel like this palette definitely represents that like in terms of like an aesthetic and in terms of like an appeal to catch his fans um i feel like this palette does a really good job of that in terms of an artistry standpoint, I feel like this palette, though, is very different in concept. Like, I don't know a palette that looks like this. Like, especially in the year of 2019, where everyone's been either soft glam or high rainbow palettes. And, like, this palette, although has a lot of color, I wouldn't consider it a rainbow palette because it's very interesting color concept. Like, this, like green here this chartreuse we're gonna call it chartreuse oh that's what the color is but this this green here i haven't seen a lot of it this year um this blue blow is actually very different from what i thought it was. i thought it was like a simple blue but it actually gives more of like a purple to it with blue reflex it i will say that because there's so many metallics in it and so many glitters in it well not so many but there's so many metallics in this palette to someone who's like starting out, this palette may be a challenge. Like, even for me, I was like, what do I want to do with this palette? And I feel like maybe this palette would need an accompanying, accompanying palette if you're someone who relies heavily on like transitional shades and that thing. But if you're someone who just like dips straight into a palette and uses like a bunch of like metallics and, and whatever without any transitions or uses very little then i feel like you'll like this palette i feel like this is a very interesting concept there's not a palette out there that's like this and it's hip dot hip dot's quality and hip dot's a great brand because of the way that they create eyeshadows and so i feel like this is dope like i said i've already told you guys how i feel about the liners the liners are good um i really like at first I was like, what are these dual ended liners? But I really do like the concept of them like blue cowboy, cowboy blues. Um, I like that idea that there's a black liner and then a blue because that's, you know, two popular clothes that people reach for. And I really do like the gold. I like the concept of a gold dual ended liner. In fact, it is like yellow gold and also bronzy gold. So like, I feel like there's a lot of appeal to these and definitely someone who is big on like the artistry of it all could use these liners. So I feel like there's not a lot of like great liners, if you will, in terms of lip liners. There's a lot of like 
great pencil liners, but like liquid liners, I feel like a lot of brands haven't like dipped and dabbled into the concept of like pushing it. So these eyes are about definitely like the lipstick. Like I said, it's definitely one of my favorites in terms of bullets. You know, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of bullet lipsticks because of the fact that a lot of bullets can be too creamy for me or too matte. And I feel like this is a good healthy balance of both. And that might have something to do with the rose tip, but definitely a good lipstick. This gloss is my favorite. Like I love this gloss. Like I get like I knew pH balancing lip glosses were gonna be those that like change colors, but oh she's cute and it's a plumper too. Oh yes. I really do like this gloss. So Hmm. If there's anything, I feel like definitely get the bundle of the lipstick and gloss bundle because like everyone needs a classic red and everyone needs a really good clear lip or a really good lip gloss in general. Um, but if you're someone who likes artistry and wants to dabble in new things, the whole collection as a whole is really good. And I hope that Kesha really does push what her brand is and it's not like a just, here's some makeup. Here you go. Like I really hope that she pushes this brand and we get to see more launches from her and really get to see her play with different things. Like I, I would like in my head, I would love to see what a neutrals palette from Kesha looks like. Because I'm gonna be sure it's gonna be full of like brown metallics and glitters, things like that. I, I would love to see that. Um and I would love to see more of these glosses. That's I definitely want to see more of these glosses. I I, I would love it if there is more glosses from Kesha. So ultimately I give this a, a thumbs up. I feel like this is a good starting launch for a brand. Um it, honestly because you can't go wrong with a good a gloss that fits everyone. You can't go wrong with a palette. And I really like the ingenuity of like the liners and the glosses up. So shout out to you Kesha and hip dot A1 I yeah, I like this. Overall, 10 out of 10, like this. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. If you enjoyed yourselves, which hope and pray you did, because I don't, I haven't done a video in a while, so like you should appreciate this, please. Then you guys should go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up, like, and support. It means so much. Also, if you guys want to continue seeing my face on your YouTube feed, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload because I want to upload more and I just stop being lazy. And so maybe I'll upload more. But definitely subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss out on the next upload. Also, you guys, make sure you follow me on all my social media accounts. That is Neon MUA on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Love to have you guys be a part of the Fire Files family because I talk a lot of shit on Twitter. I really do. I talk a lot of shit. Like, the whole Neapolitan ice cream discussion that's been going on the past few days on my Twitter is a lot. And, um, subscribe, you guys. Subscribe. Or follow, wow, this follow the Twitter and the Instagram. Snapchat's in here. Follow. Alright, you guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, congrats to Kesha on this launch. And until next time, take care. <laughs>